So we're talking about the Street Fighter influence on the arcades and the competitive nature and how we how we rank ourselves against each other. Um, but, but also Street Fighter 2 came in a couple of different versions which were effectively patches fixing uh, gameplay, balance, glitches, things like that. Um, and it came with a few versions you know, with a few versions of Street Fighter 2, didn't we? Yeah, there was five versions um, overall. Um, the first one was was a big change from Street Fighter 1, because Street Fighter 1 was more of a single player experience, and the special moves and combos uh, and moves and the, themselves, where the timing of them was very, very sharp. You had to be precise, otherwise you wouldn't be able to pull it off. But with the first iteration, World Warrior, um, Street Fighter 2 relaxed the timing on a lot of moves, which allowed for not so much um, people be able to perform them easily, but for combos, because while one was still finishing, you could put in another one, and that's how combos started in fighting it. And uh, they, uh, they went from Street Fighter 2 to World Warrior, which um, boss characters went selectable, uh, fixed a glitch which um, uh, Giles handcuffed himself <laughs> to you, um, uh, and then Champion Edition? Yeah, the Champion Edition added some changes, which was um, things like mirror matching so in the previous one you could not fight as ken versus ken in the champion edition you could fight as ken versus ken which made a lot of people happy because you wouldn't want to line up to play street fighter and find out that the person you were going to be reversing was playing your favorite character and you were unable to select that character um, but then that moved on to hyper fighting or turbo was also known yep. um, and that was a response to a pirate version of the game called rainbow edition um, Rainbow Edition was faster and it allowed for combos in the air but the person would just stay in the one spot and do that combo. Um, the developers of Street Fighter 2 went out and played this Rainbow version and thought, oh it's unbalanced, it's too fast, it's, it's no good at all. And then went back to play their version and found it was really sluggish. So they, so they <laughs> released Hyper Fighting. So they too. released Hyper Fighting. Well done, Pirates. Um, <laughs> and Super Street Fighter 2, which uh, uh, added more moves, um, uh, new characters, uh, a bit of a sort of maintenance update. It's yeah, yeah. Pretty much. And um, a lot of people got, a lot of the characters got new moves, um, new super moves as well, um, just um, to mix it up. And it was a bit of a, you know, keep it fresh kind of thing. Because, um, Oh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, sorry, jumping ahead on this, uh, added, added Super Meter. Yeah, um, Super Meter, which is something you see in pretty much every game nowadays in the fighting genre. So you would charge the Super Meter um, by hitting other people or getting hit yourself, and then you would release all that Super Meter in one big super move um, during the course of the game. And that's a staple of every Street Fighter ever since, and most fighting games ever since. So it's pretty much influenced not only arcade, how we play, how games were played in arcade, yeah. uh, game from, as we said before, a buffet style to, to only play one game. Um, people played the games competitively uh, for pretty much the first time against each other to rank against other people instead yeah. of using, uh, instead of by scores, it yeah. was actually by staying on. Um, and also introduced, uh, well, patches for the game to, yeah. to, to, to this and uh, and things like the the, um, the super meter and that so it had a, a lot of changes that Street Fighter 2 introduced to how we actually play not just fighting games but but all games now yeah and combos it's one of the biggest things in um, a fighting game and that was almost an accident um, in this game that you know the timing was relaxed so much that you could put one input of one move into it while another one was still being completed and chain two hits together before the the opponent could recover so 25 years, one of, one of probably one of the most influential games that ever hit the arcade. Yeah, I would say so.